Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're suffering from witchcraft attacks, night terrors or sleep paralysis, then this prayer is for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior and soon coming King, we thank you that your answers to our prayers are always yes and amen. Everything that we ask, if you believe in that, we will receive it. We shall receive in Jesus' name. That is the confidence in which we have in you. Lord, we bring before you our dream state and the demonic spirit that visit us at night. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shut down every gateway and portal that the spirits of the night are using to infiltrate our dreams or appear in our rooms with the blood of Jesus Christ. We reject and renounce every visitation by these night demons now in Jesus' name. Lord, we repent of every sin, known and unknown to us, that gives the devil permission to harass and torment us. We will rest at night because the Lord give us his love sleep father God build a wall of fire of protection around me and my family tonight send your mighty warrior angels to protect us against all evil powers for your word says the angel of the Lord encamp it round about those who fear the Lord according to Proverbs 324 when we lie down we will not be afraid when we lie down our sleep shall be sweet in Jesus name for you alone O God let us do well in safety we are not afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that flies at noonday for the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind we are more than conquerors to Jesus Christ because he first loved us we are warriors for Christ Therefore, we bind all demonic network operating against us and we loose the blood of Jesus Christ over our minds, bodies, souls, and spirits, our families, health, finances, ministries, businesses, every room in our houses, and all our possessions in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior and soon coming King. prior to destroy spirits of anxiety, depression, and all fears. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that you answer our prayer speedily, that you're delivering us speedily from the hands of the enemy. If we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can remove all mountains standing in our ways. Therefore, we exercise our faith now, Lord, and we say mountains of depression, anxiety, and fear be moved now and be casted into the sea. I declare and decree that we have the mind of Christ and that our memories are blessed. According to Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and he added no sorrows with it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind all mind controlling demons that cause forgetfulness, brain fog, confusion, fear, heaviness, laziness, procrastination, lack of willpower and courage. In the name of Jesus, we curse every rubbing demon to the root who tries to steal our blessings and peace of mind. Let every evil tree planted in us be roasted by the Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' name. And let every fruit and seed of this plant be dissolved in the unquenchable fire in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you dispatch angels from Michael's quarters to permanently destroy and shut down all principalities and powers of darkness operating against our thoughts, ideas, and imaginations. We now lose the blood of Jesus Christ over our minds, body, soul, and spirit. We are now washed and cleansed in his blood and declared brand new children of the Most High God. We outfit ourselves with the full armor of God so that we can stand against the wiles of the devil in Jesus. Jesus name father we thank you that you have removed all depression anxiety and fears from our minds for you said 
in your words that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Therefore, we will not lose our minds. We will not be caught in a cycle of depression. We will not go crazy. We will not be contending with a spirit of madness because the Lord has blessed us with sound mind. And so we bring down all imaginations, oh, all wicked imaginations into captivity. Every thought, every negative thought, every evil thing that set itself above the knowledge of God. We bring it down now we pull it down we destroy it and we bring those evil thoughts into captivity in Jesus name we thank you for the ability Lord to think freely and positively to be able to focus on your words of wisdom knowledge and truth according to Isaiah 26 3 you said in your word Lord that you will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, Lord, because we trust you. You will keep us in perfect peace, oh God, because our mind is always on you, Lord, and we trust you. We have confidence in you. We know that we will not be overpowered by any witchcraft spirit, by any depression, by any anxiety. We crush it. We curse it to the root. We dismantle it. We put fire upon it. We dissolve it in to wash in Jesus mighty and powerful name Lord we believe by faith that it is already done in Jesus name amen and amen now I just want to advise you how to defeat witchcraft here's some tips that I want to share with you eight tips first number one first you need to get up Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Whenever you have any dream attacks in the middle of the night, when the enemy come at you, maybe choking you or giving you something to eat in your sleep or even have any, any sex with you, like demons having sex with you in your sleep, you need to get up, cover yourself under the blood of Jesus Christ. Do not go back to sleep until you pray. Pray violent prayers against the enemy. Number two, call on the name of Jesus. You must be walking in obedience with the Lord for you to be uh, recognized in the spirit realm. You must have authority. You must have that kind of presence that demons will fear you. When you call upon the name of the Lord, they will flee when you have that kind of spiritual recognition in the spirit realm. Right? And this, this has to do with a relationship with Jesus Christ. You must establish a real genuine relationship with Jesus before you can use the name of Jesus effectively. You know, when, when you have that relationship, all the elements of nature will obey you, including demons. Number three, you need to pray violent, aggressive prayer. Fire prayers to send the demons and witchcraft high priests running. Pray violent prayers, warrior. Prior warrior priors. If you need more information about this, then you can send me a message. Okay? I will help you to pray violent prayer. For I am a prayer warrior and I will pray with you. I will teach you. Number four. Repent from all sins, known and unknown to you. The reason why the witchcraft is working against is because the enemy has found an open door in your life. So you need to repent and the Lord will shut the door on them and they will have nothing on you. Number five, fast the very next day after dreaming about sex with demons, eating in a dream, whatever it is. If you find yourself swimming in murky, dirty waters, okay? If you find yourself living under the bottom of the sea, now this suggests marine spirit working in your life. You need to fast the very, as, upon waking up, start a fast. Or get down on your knees and pray violent prayers. When you fast, this will flush out the demonic deposits or the contaminants in your body and it will purify you fast. At least two to three days, go on a water fast or a dry fast if you can do so. 
Number six, get rid of all occultic objects from your home. Example, dream catchers, ancestral dolls, carved images or souvenirs, Ouija boards, pornographic magazine, and such things that you know that are not godly. Whatever the Holy Spirit leader to get rid of, just get rid of it. Don't second guess anything. Anything that doesn't feel right, it is not right. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. And this is why I'm telling you that it's very important to establish a relationship with Jesus Christ have that relationship with the Holy Spirit that you can ask him anything and he will answer you number seven go for deliverance and get rid of that spirit you must find a, a spirit filled church some somewhere where they're casting out demons where they're not afraid of demons where they believe in in the supernatural you must find somewhere um, that that can help you to deal with this witchcraft Go for deliverance. Do not be afraid. It's time for you to take control of your life and be the head and not the tail according to what the Lord has said to you. He said that you're, you're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. And that you're more than conquerors through him who first loved you. And, and with Jesus Christ, you know, we can do all things. We can do all things through Christ who loved us. Therefore, we should not be underneath the devil's feet. We should not allow anyone to be whooping us and beating us up with any witchcraft spirit. We should be above. We should, when we pray, the, 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 the demon should run away. People should really um, hesitate to, to try to put witchcraft in us because we are so powerful in the spirit realm. That's how we need to be. We need to be trained up and be powerful. Hallelujah. Number eight, eight and last. Now you need to pay close attention to number eight. Live a holy and righteous life. Live a holy and righteous life. I cannot put, I cannot emphasize this enough. It is important for you to be holy and righteous and not having any sin. The Lord asks us to be holy and blameless before him. Do not get caught up into any sinful habits. Do not get caught up in the worldly things, the things that are ungodly. Now, and when you do this, the devil will have no open door to come and harass or torment you. You must be holy, just like how Jesus Christ was holy. Now, this is the end of my prayer and my, my teaching here. I hope that this has been a blessing to you all. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.